good day. My name is Renuka Ramesa. And I am Dion Neves. And behind the camera, we have Mr. Derek Ramdat. And we are here to present the practical skills required for the CSEC Agricultural Science Salon. For any of our agricultural SBA skills, we are required to show pre-operative procedures, which entails gathering all our tools and materials needed for this test. In this case, we have our beaker, our tripod stand, our Bunsen burner, our test tubes, our measuring cylinder, our distilled water, the chemicals needed, our mortar and pestle, and our tiles. Firstly, we are going to attempt testing for protein, which is the biuret test. The first step, Mr. Neves, is going to grind finely. We are now going to pipette drop by drop of the copper sulfate solution into the same test tube. When that is complete, you can cover the test tube and shake it and observe the purple color that will be noted if there is protein present. As observed, there is a protein presence that can be noted by the change in color, which is purple. This means that the feed chosen has a protein presence. We are now going to attempt the testing for starch, which is the iodine test. The feed has been finely ground. We will now place the sample of feed onto the tile. And drop some of the iodine solution onto the feed. The straw colored iodine solution will go blue black to show the presence of starch. By repeating the test, we ensure that our initial results were correct. There is starch present in the feed sample. We are now going to test for fats, which is the emulsion test. Firstly, we are going to add one centimeter cubed of the ground food. Into the test tube, we are now going to add 2 cm cube of alcohol, for example, ethanol. Now put thumb over the top of the test tube and shake thoroughly. If a milky appearance is present, then we know that fat is present in the feed. As we can see, the sample has gone from clear to milky, which indicates a presence of fat in the feed. If a small sample of the solution is poured onto filter paper, if it becomes translucent when dried, we know also that fat is present in the feed sample. We can see that the filter paper is becoming translucent. 
and different from the original state.